What are some of the challenges that come with managing millennial workers? How are industry manufacturers addressing the ever-evolving needs of glaziers, architects, and code requirements? The Glass Expo S17 answered these questions and more. I'm Nick St. Dennis with USGNN and US Glass Magazine. Welcome to our June newscast. On the last day of the show, David Warden of YKK addressed how the glazing industry can meet strict emerging energy codes, whether it be through triple glazing or other initiatives. So when you look at the prescriptive tables within the code, the California codes specifically, you can see that it's really pushing everything way down. Uh, is a U factor of 0.36 really necessary in Southern California, but it does say it's all climate zones. Uh, your curtain wall potential is 0.41. So that's pushing you away from maybe the traditional thermally broken with a gasket at the front of the pressure plate. It's kind of pushing you away from that to maybe going to an SSG type or maybe moving to a high or advanced framing. And it kind of limits you to a window wall ratio of 40%. So if you have a glass building that's a little bit over 40%, then that limiting factor um, then becomes something where you might have to have a discussion with your local code official to find out how they want you to handle it if you can't figure out how to get compliance uh, through ComCheck. The seminars closed out with a presentation from Casey Flores and Deborah Levy of U.S. Glass Magazine on managing millennials. We asked a couple of attendees what their biggest takeaways were from that seminar. I think managing millennials was a great topic for this because the workforce that's coming in to replace us when we retire is going to be the millennials and we want to do things to keep them, not just the three years or the one year and train them. We want them to stay on. And in order to do that, there were some great tips about activities and being open to suggestions. Building that family and that loyalty would help retain the millennials, and that would be our goal. It's, uh, I think the most important thing is that understanding they're here, they're not going anywhere, and although the mindset is different, they're still wanting to work hard and they're willing to work hard. You just gotta listen to them. Their new ideas are good and how can we work together and cooperatively and when you can forecast um, what they can expect in their career beyond just that initial hire and kind of give them a path and then work with them through that path, I think you're gonna retain beyond that you know, two year cycle that um, the session speakers today said. The exhibition floor remained busy, with companies throughout the U.S. showcasing their latest developments. One was Fairview Architectural, which brought its new MCM panel technology. Well, we're Fairview Architectural out of uh, Connecticut. Uh, we are a ACM and uh, uh, rain screen panel supplier. Now, our new Arrowhead rain screen panel system is fully non-progressive. That means you can put it in, on the job in any, any order you want to. You don't have to go in line. You can replace a panel anywhere on the job without taking any other panels off, and it saves about 50% install labor. It's designed to put the extrusions on the job first, and it have these clip-on T-clips. This is the arrowhead clip. That's where we got the name. You screw this in and lock the panels in place on the, on the job. Safety and security are increasingly important parts of modern-day architectural design, and the glass and glazing industry continues to develop solutions. Pacific BR Glass, which provides security glazing for a range of applications, discussed its capabilities. We're direct manufacturers of bullet and blast resistant glass from uh, lower level handgun through rifle rounds, uh, low level blast through high level. Uh, and then the questions we've been uh, fielding uh, from uh, anywhere from framing to the, the components of the glass, the, uh, the, the makeup, uh, engineering. It's, a, it's an intriguing market uh, and uh, it's in high demand right now in light of recent events. Yeah, great exposure. Not a lot of folks uh, know about us and uh, it's a good chance to, to get our name out there and uh, network with some fellow vendors and uh, help protect uh, the folks that count, absolutely. That's all for this month's newscast, but be sure and check out usgnn.com for the complete coverage of Glass Expo West. Thanks for watching. I'm Nick St. Dennis. We'll see you next time.